Hi there, Sandra here from the Schwoven's Nest. Thanks for joining me today. I am so excited because I'm starting a series of Wood Wednesday DIYs for you. These are going to be projects that involve wood in some way, shape, or form. Today I'm starting off with these tumbling tower blocks that I got at my local Dollarama store. They are larger than the ones you can get at Dollar Tree, but the Dollar Tree blocks would work just as well. The first thing I'm doing is putting four of them together. Now I'm using my Aileen's Tacky Glue. You could use wood glue, hot glue if you wanted to, whatever works for you. Once the set of fours have had a chance to dry and set up, I'm going to actually glue them all together so it will be one row of 12. To make sure they're really secure, I give them a good push from either end. And if a little bit of that glue squeezes up in between, then I know I've got a really tight fit. Once I'm done with the 12, I'm going to set that aside to dry. When I'm working with glues that have a lot of thickness to them, and like this, the Aileen's glue, it's very sticky and tacky, it's hard for me to squeeze out the tube. So I always put a little bit on a plate and just use a paintbrush. And that also ensures that I get it everywhere I need it to be. So you can see here that I've done four blocks end to end, and now I'm stacking another three, and that will create the sides. Now I'm going to use a square wooden dowel to act as the brace in every corner and I'm going to make it the same height as the stack of three blocks. So I'm just going to measure that off and then cut out four. To assemble this I decided just to use hot glue. You could use the tacky glue or some wood glue if you wanted but I find that hot glue works just as well especially when you're gluing raw wood together. So I'm just going to butt the side up against the bottom and press it and make sure that it's nice and secure. I'll do the same for the other side. Next I'll glue the sides on and then I'll start working on the corners. So now it's very easy to just go ahead and set the corners right inside. They fit perfectly and I'm really pleased with how this is coming together. I didn't tell you yet, but this is actually a Kirkland's dupe. I found this beautiful arrangement on the Kirkland's website and I thought, you know what, I can do that for less. It's a little different. They have some rounded circles cut out of the top piece and I'm going to be working with straight corners, but I still think mine turned out fairly good. Wait till the end. I think you're going to like it too. Before I finish assembling, I'm going to give this bottom piece one coat of Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint in the color Maui Sand. It's a beautiful dark charcoal gray. I love using the Folk Art Chalk Paint. It's super thick and you can usually get really good coverage with just one coat. So now I'm just using a few more blocks as a guide to ensure that I know exactly where I need to glue my center pieces in to create the top part of the crate. As I was gluing these pieces together, I realized that I just made a little ladder. So if you want to make a ladder for your home decor, this is the perfect way to do it, simply with some tumbling tower blocks. Now I'm giving this one coat of the gray as well. Now I'm just going to add some Dollar Tree twine to the top of the jars, just like in the photo. And I'm going to wrap it around five times and then hot glue it in place. I'm going to use hot glue on each of the corners to put the ladder in place. That's what I'm going to call it now because that's what it turned out to be. And I'm just going to make sure that I push it down so it's flush with each of the four corners. Now that's all put together and reinforced with some hot glue on the inside a bit. And now I'm taking some of the Parisian gray color, which is also from Folk Art, and I'm using a really rough chip brush. It's got some dried paint on it already, so it's giving me a really good rough texture, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm going to dry brush all the way around the piece, front, back, sides, inside, everywhere it has a dark gray finish is going to get some of this dry brushing. Once the dry brushing was done I added the jars 
popped in some lavender florals from the Dollar Tree and this is how it looks. This project is super easy. I got this little bushel basket from the thrift store for $1.99 and I'm taking some white chalk paint and a big fat brush and I'm just going to dry brush all the way around. At first I started just with the top band because I wasn't quite 100% sure that I wanted to do the whole thing white but once I got around to it I decided yep the whole thing's going to be white. I did do quite a bit of a heavy dry brush but there is still going to be a little bit of that wood peeking through. I'm going to glue in a piece of floral foam at the bottom. This is all the floral foam I have so it's going to have to make do but I'm not adding a ton of florals. At first I thought I was going to add some of this eucalyptus and then maybe some lavender but once I got the eucalyptus in I decided that I liked it just with the greenery. I added a piece of burlap ribbon around the top band and it was all done. I love this. For this last project, I'm using this square wooden box that came from the Dollar Tree and this little hanging birdhouse that came from Dollarama. So all together, this cost me $2.50. I think this is a pretty good steal for this little project. I'm just going to go ahead and take my needle nose pliers and then just take off that top part because I'm not going to need it. I'm going to be gluing the little house on the box, but I needed it to be a little bit higher to match up with the height of the box. So I went and grabbed my box of cubes and blocks and all sorts of extra little bits and pieces and tried to figure out what would be the best way or best decor idea to have at the bottom of this little house to make it raised up a little bit so you don't see that extra lip and I decided on these little blocks that come from the Dollar Tree they're these little square ones I think they're a half inch in diameter and I'm going to go ahead and glue those to the bottom of the birdhouse. Okay, you guys, I lied. There is going to be a little bit of cutting involved. I want to cut out this little half circle from the box so the birdhouse opening is totally open. So you are going to need to do a little bit of cutting, but it just involves using a utility knife and scoring that shape out and sanding it down a little bit. I also use needle nose pliers to try and get some of that out a little bit easier. I'm just using some hot glue to glue the birdhouse right onto the box. So for the last couple of birdhouses that I've made like this, I did one white and I did one with a beautiful eucalyptus green color chalk paint, but I decided to stain this one simply because the boxes from the Dollar Tree are really pretty wood and I just didn't feel like I wanted to cover that up completely. And so I'm taking some of this gel stain in the color Walnut and I'm just going to put some on with a brush and then just take a paper towel and wipe the excess off. I wanted to try a different technique of distressing. So I'm using this white wax. It's some clear wax by Folk Art and I just added in another little jar a little bit of white acrylic paint. I'm just going to apply that and then use a baby wipe to take off as much as I want until I get the look I'm going for. I just want it to be a little bit rustic, a little bit whitewashed and once it dries it turned out really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and glue a styrofoam ball in here. These are just ones that I had left over in my stash and I thought you know what it fits perfectly in there so that'll just be what I use 
to poke in my florals. I'm going to add a little bit of reindeer moss just to camouflage that styrofoam ball and I think this one turned out absolutely adorable. I hope you enjoyed my first Wood Wednesday DIYs and got some inspiration to create some wood decor for your own home. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up that tells YouTube that you do like it and they promote it more, which helps my channel grow. Another thing that helps my channel grow is for you to hit that subscribe button. That black arrow will point you in the right direction. Bye for now.